the 2019 Lincoln MKZ Reserve 2. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment that's available on that Reserve 2 trim of the 2019 Lincoln MKZ. So if you have first time watching one of our videos, we do uh, put uh, timestamps down below in these if you're watching this on YouTube uh, for the different uh, optional equipment and well, first standard equipment as well as the different packages and even puts the prices down there. So if you're interested in that information, look down in the description as well there and you can move around this video however it fits you. Now one of the things that I've noticed when uh, doing the video on the Reserve 1 and the Reserve 2, some people ask what's the difference? I would say Reserve 1 is that luxury vehicle with a sport look to it whereas a luck, the uh, Reserve 2 is going to be that everything you want on the vehicle. So this is going to have a lot of standard equipment not a lot of optional equipment so it's almost everything is going to be standard equipment on this trim. So let's go ahead and get started. First talk about safety. If you watch one of my videos already same safety features as the standard and reserve one that are in the reserve two. So you probably could go ahead and move up to the exterior front clip if you want to start there. I'm talking about safety. I do like to kind of start the video talking about safety because safety is very important, not only when you get in an accident and how protected they're going to be, but also avoiding any accidents as well. So let's first talk about the airbags. Dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger. It'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. So there are some sensors underneath those seats that'll tell the system how close you are to the, to the front of the vehicle. Uh, does have a driver as well as front passenger glove in integrated there, air, uh, knee airbag. So it's gonna protect those knees from those front collisions as well with that dash up there. So great safety features for those in the front seat. Also side impact airbags on the side of those seats for the driver and front passenger that'll protect them from any side collision and deploying the airbag from the side of those seats. And you're going to have the safety Canterbury airbag that's going to deploy down from the roof and protect for any kind of rollover. It's going to have a rollover sensor as well. So if you're going to end up rolling the vehicle over, it'll hopefully protect everyone in the vehicle as well. So it kind of protects, it gives it kind of that, that nice airbag protection all the way around the vehicle here. Also for to protect those in the back seat, there is child safety locks on these rear doors. So you can lock those out. If you have smaller kids that tend to open those doors as you're going down the road, uh, you can have those child lockouts as well as uh, it's going to have the latch system, a lower anchors and tethers for children. So if you have those car seats, booster seats, you can securely fasten those back in the, uh, the seat, back of the seats using those little uh, bolts, uh, or I should say the latch system that's in the back part of those, uh, those outbound seats there. So uh, great safety features here on the vehicle. Also does come with advanced track with electronic stability control. And the whole goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. So if you're going to a curb maybe a little too fast, or if it's slick outside, it's going to use a series of brakes around the vehicle to keep you on your intended path going around that curve and gives you that curve control as well. So if you do get an accident, happen to be off the road, it does have the SOS post-crash alert system that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights. Also, it's going to have the 911 assist. Once you connect your vehicle to the vehicle, you can set up that 911 assist so that way if you get an accident, you can call 911 directly instead of relying on a third-party provider like OnStar or something like that. Also a feature that's part of the Copilot 360, the standard equipment on all your MKZs. One of the safety features I want to talk about on that one is the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. It includes three, three great features. One of them is your forward collision warning. So if you're driving along, car in front of you stops, you're going much slower than you and you're going to end up uh, rearing them if you don't hit your brakes. It's going to use a series of lights in the dash and tones that you need to stop and initiates the brake if you don't. So the dynamic brake support is going to come into effect there if you don't hit your brakes also does detect pedestrians. So that's the third part of that. So a um, great safety feature. We'll talk more about the Copilot 360 as we talk about the front of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and head there right now. Now on your Reserve 2, it will come standard and your front wheel drive, just like your other trims and your optional all wheel drive is available as well. So no matter which way you go, you're gonna have a standard engine, the 2.0 liter, that turbocharged 2.0 four cylinder engine that's going to deliver 245 horsepower and it's going to be uh, also have the six speed automatic transmission with select shift. The select shift means that you can put it uh, in that sport mode, uh, shift it down there and you can use the paddle shifter to shift it up and down like a manual transmission which can come in real handy if you need to, to uh, come down those hills uh, and up in the mountains and something like that. Also now you can get the optional uh, engine is the twin turbocharged 3.0 liter V6 engine. That engine for your front wheel drive will deliver 350 horsepower, 
and for your all-wheel drive will give you 400 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. So that's a great engine to have. I do recommend if you're going with that engine to go with the all-wheel drive. It's going to have a much more dynamic uh, suspension for you, sport tuned suspension when you go with the all-wheel drive with that engine uh, and just have a dynamic ride for you with 400 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. It's going to have a, a great performance for you. Now let's talk about fuel economy. The 2.0 liter engine and front-wheel drive will get you about 21 miles per gallon in the city about 31 miles per gallon on the highway. Your all-wheel drive with the 2.0 will give you about the same in the city, about 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Now with that 3.0 engine, you're not losing a lot there. You're gonna get about 18 miles per gallon in the city for your front wheel drive and about 27 miles per gallon on the highway. And then for your all-wheel drive, you'll get about the same in the city and about 25 miles per gallon on the highway. So you do lose some for fuel economy when you go with that 3.0, but you gain it in the performance of that engine if that's what you're looking for here. Also, let's talk about some of the technologies that are standard equipment here on the front. One of them is your lane keeping system, part of the Copilot 360. Uh, that lane keeping system provides three great features. One of them is your driver alert, and that's going to allow the system to monitor how alert you are if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, too often, it alerts you with the little uh, message on the dash as well as some tones that maybe you need to pull off and have some coffee or something. Also, it's going to get your lane keeping system. You have your aid and your alert. The alert system, the way that works is if you have it set on that, if you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. You also have the aid system that's going to aid it. So instead of it going, letting you go over, it's going to stop you, it's going to bring you back and keep you in your lane. So uh, some two great features, no matter how way you want to go there, you can change that in your settings for your uh, lane keeping system in the, uh, in the settings uh, screen there in your productivity screen. Also with this, you're gonna get the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. We did see that in reserve one, carried over to the reserve two. So adaptive cruise, if you have it set on the adaptive cruise control, you can set that gap. As you approach somebody, come up behind them, it's gonna slow you down to go their speed until you pass them or they speed back up and then you're gonna resume. Even when we bring you to complete stop as well. So you don't have to use your brakes uh, with this system. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. So you do have the option in the setting screen uh, to be able to change that from the normal cruise to the adaptive cruise there as well. Also with this, you get the enhanced active park assist with the Reserve 2 as standard equipment. So you're gonna get the front sensing system, the reverse sensing, as well as the side sensors. So it'll help you find parking spaces, it'll help you parallel park the vehicle, taking care of all the steering while you control the gas and the brake. So it's a great system. I do have a video on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but here's some video footage of that. It's not kind of an outside as well as an inside perspective of how that system works. So a real nice system, it does a great job for you. Now let's kind of talk about the styling here on the front. First talk about these headlights. Adaptive HID headlights, so HID is so much brighter. Adaptive means it's going to adapt with your steering wheel. So as you turn into those uh, dark streets, it's going to light up your intended path there. Also, it's gonna have the LED signature lighting underneath there and LED lights under here. So that way you can have those on as your daytime running lights as well. Uh, and then it will have auto high beams as well. So automatic headlight feature and auto high beam. And the way that's set is the auto headlights work is if you have an auto setting on your headlight switch, it'll, it'll come on automatically when it gets dark and turn off when it gets light. Auto headlamps work the same way. If you have that activated in your lighting setting screen, it's gonna go ahead and turn those auto high beams on if it's dark enough outside and there's nobody in front of you. So if somebody approaches you or you come into the city lights, they'll turn them off automatically. Again, that's something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting setting screen there. So a uh, great look here on the front of it as well. You have the satin chrome finish on this grill. So a repeating star, Lincoln star emblem with the chrome accent around there, as well as you have the chrome accent in the lower part of the bumper down here too. So just a great look on the front of it. Uh, don't forget, uh, we mentioned it right now, instead of moving on the side, we have the rain sensing wipers, standard equipment on your MKZ even your, sta your standard trim. So rain sensing wipers, when you have that activated in your wiper settings, you can go ahead and they'll turn on automatically when you have the, in one of those intermittent settings. So when it starts to rain, they'll turn on automatically, rains a little harder, they'll wipe even faster. Windshield wiper de-icers, now also standard equipment. And there's no longer a climate package for the MKZ, it is actually two of those features, the windshield wiper de-icers and rain sensing wipers are now standard equipment on these. So windshield wiper de-icers works uh, in the winter time, it def uh, keeps those windshield wipers de-iced. So, you know, like, you know, winter time when it's snowing, uh, sleet out, the windshield gets defrosted, those wipers get wet, they freeze up. You don't have to worry about that now, it should defrost those or keep those de-iced uh, for those windshield wipers. 
Now, something I want to mention when we move around to the side is the Lincoln Embrace. Now, Lincoln Embrace is a great way that welcomes you to the vehicle with a series of LED lights inside as well as outside of the vehicle. So the first thing you'll notice as you approach a reserve vehicle is the fade up on the LED signature lighting underneath the headlights. So they're going to fade up on the front of the vehicle. Also, your door handles will light up with LED backlighting in them. On the ground, you're going to see the security approach lamp that's going to light the Lincoln uh, mat, is what they call that, with the Lincoln star emblem in the middle of it. Uh, the, on the back of it, on the uh, lift gate or the trunk lid, you're going to see the LED lights across there as well on that deck lid. And then inside, you're going to see the ambient lighting light up and really welcome you to the vehicles. You're going to see those lights across the dash, uh, into the doors as well, even those cup holders and the floor liners. So a great way to really welcome you to the vehicle. So you're going to get that as part of the standard equipment on your reserve too. Also this wheel, standard wheel, 19 inch satin finish uh, wheel, a great seven spoke wheel with the painted premium painted pockets as well. So great looking wheel here uh, that you're going to get as the standard wheel on this particular vehicle. Now on the mirrors, you will have a body colored mirror cap that uh, sits on top of this nice chrome accent with the LED turn signals here in between that so people can see that you're wanting to turn. Power heated glass as well, so it's going to heat that in the winter time. You're going to also have the auto dimming driver's side view mirror. It means it's going to dim that exterior mirror when people want to pass you with those bright lights so it will help you so it won't blind you there on those side mirrors. Also, it's going to get the Bliss system. Bliss with crash traffic alert is standard equipment on all of your MKZs. What's great about that is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror on that side. So that way it lets you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to use those same sensors and lights. So if it's going, to, it's going to alert you with a series of tones that it's not safe to back up, it puts a light in the corner of the mirror on the side they're coming from, and it puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right. So I love how that works as well. You'll see this uh, mirror is folded in, does have auto fold mirrors as part of reserve one and reserve two. Uh, so what's great about it is it's the auto fold mirror too. So when you lock the vehicle up, it's going to fold that mirror in towards the glass, help protect it from doors and such in those uh, different parking lots. And then when you unlock the vehicle, it's going to automatically fold that mirror out into place and have it ready to go for you. So hopefully I have a good clip of that for you. So great system. Let's talk about entering and exiting the vehicle now. It does have the easy entry and exit. So you have that key fob in your pocket. You just put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. You can set it up to unlock just the driver's door or all the doors. It's really up to the, the preference and you'll need to change that in the locks. Uh, setting screen for your productivity uh, screen there and then also when you get out you just press the ridges it's going to lock the vehicle up for you as well so love that when you lock it that's when those auto fold mirrors will fold into place as well there do you have an invisible keypad here on the pillar that allows it to be able to get in and out of the vehicle using the keypad if you want to if you want to leave the keys in it or maybe access the vehicle when you don't have the keys on you you can use a, your own code that you can program through the touch screen and the center stack there uh, to set your own special code be able to get in and out of the vehicle that way unlocking and locking it let's talk about some of the chrome accents around the vehicle a nice luxury look so you have the chrome accent around the windows and the belt line also, you have the chrome, the body color door handles with the chrome accent in those, so a nice luxury look there. On the lower rocker molding, instead of that molded in black, you're going to see a body color down there, so it really dresses it up, gives it a nice luxury look here on the side. Uh, and with the vehicle low enough, they really feel like that most of the rocks and such will stay in those wheel wells instead of on the side of your vehicle over here. So great look to the vehicle here on the side. Also, easy fuel capless filler doors, so you can just open that up. Uh, and then oh, on the, this is a hybrid, so hybrids, you do have to pop it uh, to open it up. Easy fuel capless filler door, though, you don't have a cap to worry about. Leaving, losing behind, you just put the nozzle in there, fill it up. When you're done, uh, put it uh, back and then shut that lid. So I love how that works. You don't have to worry about anybody putting anything in there because it has to be the perfect size and the fuel pumps are the exact size. Any of the gas cans are, can't go in there without having the funnel. So you'll need it. We usually leave that in the back of the trunk for you. When you need to use it, it's going to be located in there. Now, as we move to the back, you can see the rear defrost back here. And this one's a little hard to tell because it is a black exterior, but normally you're that lower part that kind of circles around on the top part of that trunk lid is going to be always be that black color. Uh, and then you get that nice rear spoil look here on the uh, trunk lid. Lincoln lettering back here in the back, nice chrome lettering, sits on top of the LED taillights we've seen a couple times already. A nice chrome accent in those taillights, hopefully you get a close-up of those so you can see the luxury 
finish in those uh, tail lights there. MKZ back here, this happens to be your hybrid engine, so we'll have the H with the 2.0. Otherwise, you'll have the badging for whatever engine you might have, whether it be the hybrid or the gas 2.0 or that 3.0. Reverse sensing back here to kind of complete out the perimeter sensing for that enhanced active park assist rear view camera as well. So you can, as you're backing up, you're going to also be able to see behind you uh, as well as get alerted. Down here, molded in black in the middle, the upper part of that bumper, lower part, you're going to see chrome accent with the chrome tip. Uh, dual exhaust as well under the center. So great look back here. You do have a power trunk lid, so you can use the remote. Uh, you can also use the button back here. I didn't mention that in the Reserve 1 video, but you can just uh, press this twice and you can open that up. And so you can see it powers it on up as well, so it doesn't just release it. So real quick, I didn't uh, show you the remote yet. Uh, so the remote start is also standard equipment on these. And uh, so you're, you can see your remote is a lock, unlock, remote start, and your power lift gate. And then the key is hidden in here. So if the vehicle happens to be dead, you would use uh, take the key out to be able to open and get into it and pop that trunk to get into your engine to start it. Now here in the back, this is your hybrid engine, so it's a little bit different. So I'm going to give you a clip of the Reserve 1 video I did earlier uh, so you can see what the trunk's going to look like. So very spacious trunk in there. You're going to put a lot of uh, luggage in there. 60-40 split fin seat for that rear seat so you can lay those seats down. There is a uh, ski hole is what they call it where you can put those skis through, a pass through for your skis. Or I like to say you can open that up for if you lift down that the armrest to be able to get into the back of the trunk if you have something close, maybe some beverages or something like that and you want to be able to access. Underneath uh, on the bottom here is where you're going to see your spare tire. Uh, so it's going to be on your non-hybrids. Your spare tire will be in there as a spare. If you get a hybrid, you'll have the tire and inflator kit like this particular vehicle happens to be. And your uh, also in there is going to be located, your funnel is going to be located in there too. So very spacious trunk back here. Now when you need to close this, all you have to do is press this button here. You can also use a remote. So you just press it. Not only is it going to power down, but it's going to have the soft closure. So it's going to grab it and then it's going to bring it down and secure it down into place as well. Now moving to the interior, you do have an extra interior a feature or a color I should say when you go to the Reserve 2. So just like when the Reserves, you're going to have that all ebony interior. Uh, similar to what you're seeing with this particular vehicle. So even your seats are going to be ebony, your door inserts, everything's going to be ebony. So I'll give you some clips off of Lincoln's website what that might look like on your vehicle. You also have your ebony with terracotta. That's something you do not get on the Reserve 1. So that's what this uh, vehicle has on the interior. So you're going to see your all ebony interior. You're going to see that terracotta inserts in the doors as well as the seats are going to be that terracotta finish as well. Now whether you go either of the two ebony interiors, you're going to get the, uh, the brown swirl walnut trim. It's a high gloss trim like you're seeing on this particular vehicle. Uh, it's going to be the same interior trim for that and it will include the steering wheel as well. You'll still have that uh, Sonata spin on the center console here, the pass-through, uh, but you will upgrade those uh, the trim there. Now you can also have the cappuccino interior. We, we saw that with the Reserve 1, so I'll give you some clips of that interior. That's going to give you the uh, kind of a dark brown on the top as well as the uh, flooring and then also your light tan on the lower part of the dash uh, inserts in the door as well as your seats and then the headliner will be that lighter tan interior as well. So three different options for you. Now if you do go with the cappuccino interior you will have an open pour espresso ash swirl wood trim on the doors uh, on the, the dash as well as on the steering wheel. So that's going to be a different finish to Reserve uh, 2. So uh, Reserve 1 is going to have the silver accent here on the steering wheel. Reserve 2 will have your wood trim accent uh, right there so that's a little upgrade for you as well. The seats are going to be a leather uh, seat. You do have that bridge of wear leather seating surfaces just like you did with the Reserve 1. Now they're going to have perforations in them because you're going to have heated and ventilated front seats up here. So the driver and front passenger are going to have the, the ventilated means it's pulling the air through, cooling the seat off instead of cooling you having a cooling agent underneath the vehicle having condensation and being louder. So you're going to have a nice uh, heated and ventilated seats. Also it does have a, a passenger seat or a driver and front passenger are going to have the active motion multi-contoured seat standard equipment on the Reserve 2, which is really cool. Uh, so you have an 11 bladder uh, system there where it will have massaging seat features and several different lumbar features as well. You can activate it just by hitting your lumbar switch and it's going to pop up on the screen so you can adjust that for the driver and front passenger over there. Rear seat, seats three back there. You have the armrest that comes down uh, with the uh, ar uh, back on the backrest there. Those two outside seats will get heated seats as well. And then behind the console, you're going to have the vents back here as well as a 110 outlet. And you're going to have two power points down there, just like you, or not two power points, two USB ports, uh, just like we did see on the Reserve 1. 
Uh, here on the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those windows. Driver memory that's going to memorize the seat, the mirror, and the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, similar to what we did see for the Reserve One. So that and the easy entry as well. So when you shut the vehicle off, the seat's going to come back, steering wheel up to make it easier to get in and out of the vehicle. Uh, and then also the leather wrapped steering wheel. Uh, upgraded Waldorf's leather wrapped on this, so a nice stitching on that. Hopefully you get some close up of that. Heated steering wheel is gonna be standard equipment on these. So again, no climate package on the MKZ whatsoever. Uh, a lot of those features are gonna be standard equipment on Reserve 2 and included in a certain package on Reserve 1. Now looking at the steering wheel itself, you do have, the, it looks similar to the Reserve 1. So on the left side of the steering wheel, the lower part is gonna be the adaptive cruise control down there with those arrows you can adjust the gap. The D-pad up there on the top is going to control the productivity screen features on the left side. Uh, so I'm going to show you some clips off of the Reserve One because this one looks a little different with the hybrid screens. So that way you control all those productivity driver assist features and the vehicle features and everything like that. The controls on the right side of the steering wheel, the lower part, will control your Microsoft technologies, making receiving phone calls, volume controls, audio controls. The D-pad at the top will control those different uh, sync controls like your uh, audio, your climate, all those features, navigation through that right there. Not your climate, but your entertainment and your phone, as well as your navigation and your speedometer there. So you can just uh, it'll come out to the uh, left from that speedometer there. So this one here is the hybrid, so it does have a little different look to it. Also, uh, on this, the climate control, I love what it looks like when you have the vehicle turned off. You can't see any of the words or the emblems, a nice clean look to it. When you hit that push button start to start the vehicle, it's going to use LED backlighting to light up all the words, the emblems for the climate control. So a couple of great benefits. It's very impactful. It looks great uh, uh, at night especially, but you don't have to worry about those buttons wearing off over time because they're not painted onto those switches. Dual zone climate as well, so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures there. And then below that, at the bottom part, we're going to see your heated and cooled uh, buttons for the driver and front passenger as well as your heated steering wheel button there. For your audio control, standard equipment on the Reserve 2 is that Revel audio sound system with 14 speakers, includes the HD radio and CD player uh, as uh, standard equipment on it. And you're also going to get the Sync 3, that's a third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can make and receive phone calls, you can control your audio, your climate, navigation is standard equipment on the Reserve 2 uh, with the pinch zoom capabilities, the serious traffic and travel link as well. Uh, so all those great features when you put the vehicle in reverse, that's where you're going to see your backup camera kind of view as well. Left side of the steering wheel is going, or the, that screen, the center stack, is going to be your uh, push button shift over there. Uh, this one is the hybrid, so you do have a low instead of that S for the sport mode. Uh, so that's what that's going to look like over there. To the right, you have a couple extra features on this one uh, for the Reserve 2. You have an auto hold button up there that will hold that brake when if you want to release your foot from the brake, whether you're on a hill or maybe just relax it on a stoplight, you can press that switch. You do have the active park assist button right there. And that's where you're going to activate trying to find that parallel parking spot as well as doing all the shifting and everything. It'll do that for you. And then you can uh, uh, deactivate the backup sensor as well for if you want to have that, that park assist right there. So that's where those are positioned uh, right there. Over the mirror up here is an auto dimming rear view mirror. So it'll dim that mirror. So if those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights, it'll dim that mirror. On the visor, it does have garage door openers up here as well. Universal garage door openers, any transmitters. So whether it be a garage door, a gate, something like that, you don't have to have them on the visor anymore. Dropping into your lap when you put that visor down when the sun's coming in, uh, you can program all those switches right there for that. Overhead console is going to include a sunglass bin up here, so you can stow those away in there. Also, you're going to see controls here for the power moonroof. Standard equipment on the Reserve 2 is power moonroof with the manual sunshade, so you can open that up, open that glass up as well, let some of that airflow in to the vehicle. So that's also going to be standard equipment up here. So that's a great feature there. And then also you get a rear sunshade as standard equipment as well on the Reserve 2 that goes along with the power moonroof. So you control that with these switches up here. Uh, you can have that power sunshade come up on that rear glass, uh, letting less uh, sun coming in on that back glass back there. Uh, also in here, let's go ahead and talk about the center console in here. First, it does have that floating shelf design, so you can stow some things down in here. There's two power points down there. I think on the Reserve 1, I forgot to mention that there's one on the driver's side as well as the passenger side of the vehicle. And then you have a shelf up here as well. In this uh, little media hub in here, you can press that open. Uh, it does have a little spot to put maybe a phone if it's uh, small enough in there, as well as a USB port in there. So this does have the Android uh, Apple 
Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, uh, which is going to be standard equipment. So you want to plug that phone in so you can see that interface come in on your 8-inch touchscreen there. Also, you have a compartment that goes over your cup holders. So you press that little chrome button and it'll open up for your cup holders. You'll see ambient lighting's in there. Ambient lighting standard equipment on the Reserve 1 and 2. It'll light up the cup holders, the footwells, the door handles. Also, it's going to light up across the dash. So real impactful uh, that you see that and when you have the ambient lighting turned on to different colors. Uh, the illuminated door sill plates will also always be white. Uh, so you're going to see those light up as you're getting in the vehicle and when you have your headlights on. The center console here, you can uh, pad it armrest, a, a nice uh, armrest for those in the, uh, the two outside seats. And then if you open that up, you can see in here you do have a tray that can come in and out. You can put small items in there, coins, pins, that kind of thing. And then you can remove that and you can see in there the console in there with a the USB port as well as a PowerPoint in there. So you can power different devices. You do have a slot for those cords to come through as well right there. Uh, and then also this does come uh, standard with your Lincoln Connect, just like your other Lincoln MKZs. A uh, way to stay connected to your vehicle using the Lincoln Way app. So it's a free app you download. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can even locate your vehicle. Some great features through that app. Definitely highly recommend downloading that. Activate your modem so you have access to all those features. And if you want to, if you want to pay the $20 a month uh, subscription, you can get Wi-Fi hotspots up to 10 different devices in the vehicle as well. So that's something that's additional uh, to the Lincoln Way app that you can get as well. So everybody in the vehicle can stay connected to that one modem instead of using everybody's cellular data combining. Uh, so you can do it that way. And that, the plan through AT&T is unlimited data for that as well there. So I think I've covered all the standard equipment so far, but I want to talk about a package that is available called the Luxury Package next. I want to talk about a package that's available on the MKZ Reserve 2 only, and that is the MKZ Luxury Package. Now, this package includes three great features, and one of them being the upgraded headlights. You get upgraded from those HIDs to full LED headlights up there. So now you have the LED low beam and high beam, as well as your LED signature lighting on the vehicle on the front there. Also, you get the Revel Ultima audio sound system. So the Ultima system comes with 20 speakers with the Clarify, and it just really enhances the interior quality uh, inside the vehicle. So it takes it from 14 speakers to 20 with that Revel Ultima audio sound system. I'll still get that CD player in it. Also, you're going to get upgraded to the retractable uh, roof. Biggest roof to opening of any luxury sedan in the market. Uh, it does delete the power moon roof as well as the power sunshade and gives you that retractable glass that goes across and opens up back over the back of glass on the back there. So uh, some three great features that are included within this package. Again, that's the MKZ luxury package. Now we're going to talk about some other standalone options. These are all individually uh, standalone from themselves, so they can be included within the luxury package or without, uh, and you can get these added to the vehicle as well. First one to talk about is your license plate bracket. License plate bracket is standard equipment for states uh, that have that require a front tag. For states like Kansas, they do not require a front tag. It is optional equipment. It's a no charge option if you get it from the factory. Uh, dealer will put it on with no charge to you. Uh, if you do get this afterwards, a lot of dealerships will charge you for the license plate as well as to install it. So keep that in mind if you know you want that front tag bracket. Also, engine block heater. It's about $100. Engine block heater is something you might add to your vehicle, especially if you keep it outside during the winter time. Uh, that will help uh, you know, keep that engine warm and starting up pretty easy in the morning that way. Also, you can get the rear inflatable seat belts. They're going to be on those two outbound seats in the rear seat. Uh, that really helps out for any collisions and deploy those airbags in the seat belts, protecting the smaller kids there in the back of the vehicle, even adults. Also, you can get the floor liners. All weather floor liners, forgot to mention, carpeted mats are standard equipment. In fact, when you go to Reserve 2, you get premium floor uh, mats or carpeted mats for the footballs in the front seat as well as the back. You can, as optional equipment, get the floor liners, which is an all weather floor liner that go, would go in there as well. So you'd get, you'd have the carpet as well the, as the all weather mat. So in the wintertime or when you know it's snowing or raining, you could throw those in there and protect the bottom of those. Uh, but if you're getting stuff in and out a lot, you might just want to get those and order those and put them in there. That is a feature you can get afterwards as well from your aftermarket department. They usually won't charge you anything extra to put them in because they can just give them to you and you can put, put them in yourself. Also, the cargo net would go in the back of the trunk. So cargo net would go back there, so if you have those smaller items that want to roll around when you turn from side to side or you stop, uh, you can get the cargo netting, put those in there, and they'll keep them in position back there. Again, that's another feature you can get through your parts or accessories department as well. 
So that's all your standards as well as optional equipment. Let me talk about the warranties for a second. Lincoln warranties are just fabulous. It's a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So some great factory warranties on your Lincoln vehicles. In fact, you can also get a four year, 50,000 mile pickup and delivery, which means they'll pick your vehicle up for service, leave your Lincoln loaner for the day or until they have your vehicle. They'll course service your vehicle they'll detail it or give it a nice car wash there and then bring it back to you so great convenience feature whether it be home work whatever you can do you can set that up even through the app if you want to so uh, maybe if you're someone that doesn't live within 30 miles of a Lincoln dealership or you want to bring it in yourself not a problem you still take it in that Lincoln dealership they'll service your vehicle they'll even give you a Lincoln loaner if you want to go to lunch and grab some or run some errands and then they'll, via, they'll clean your vehicle as well. So all the other great benefits uh, is the pickup and delivery. So great way to really uh, have your vehicle serviced afterwards as well. Uh, Lincoln service is just a great way to go. Also, don't forget to check out our Lincoln website, lawnmacarthurlincoln.com. They're on each one of our vehicles. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures as well as the VR experience and outside as well as an inside perspective on each one of our Lincoln vehicles. So definitely check that out. You can also check out our pricing there. You can see that it is a great low price. It does include rebates from our zip code. So if you live outside of our zip code, give us a call 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316 and we can make sure we can get the same rebates as you. Lincoln always has some 0% financing as well. So do take advantage of that. We also do free delivery as well. If you live outside of our area, uh, sometimes uh, we can include uh, shipping uh, for that if you finance the vehicle. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, and then don't forget, you can pull up window stickers on each one of the Lincoln vehicles on the Lincoln website. So any Lincoln website that has a, a window sticker link uh, that you can pull up and see all the standards as well as optional equipment. So hopefully I covered everything for you. Uh, hopefully you considered this the complete guide for the 2019 Lincoln MKZ Reserve 2. So hopefully if you watch this video and you did see some information about free shipping, you, if you live outside of our area, we have a lot of people that would like to work with us, but because of the distance, uh, would just uh, work with their local dealer. Now, if you feel like you're getting all the information from us, uh, you know you can get the vehicle ordered the way you want it to. We know the product uh, and you feel comfortable with the dealership. Uh, just uh, keep this in mind, we will do free shipping to anywhere in the continental US, outside of Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, and we just ask you finance a vehicle with us because the lender will give us a kickback for that. And that that's a cost, that's a kickback enough that we can cover most of the cost of the shipping. It doesn't cover all of it, but that way that cost doesn't get incurred onto you and you can buy a vehicle from a dealership that knows their product uh, and you can have the vehicle ordered the way you want it to delivered right to your door. So keep that in mind. Uh, if, you will, if you do live in Alaska, Hawaii, uh, do give us a call. We will do up to about a thousand bucks on the shipping for you. And we have sold vehicles to those states as well. Uh, so definitely reach out to us and we can still give you a, a good discount on that, having the vehicle shipped right to you. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, Hit that red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with some great Ford, Lincoln, Roush, even some off-road Lon MacArthur performance videos. You'll definitely enjoy those. Hit that notification bell as well. That way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So you definitely want to keep updated on that. As well, if you want, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's other people know it's a great video they need to watch. I'd appreciate it. It helps out the channel as well as the video. Uh, and I think if you liked it, you'll make sure other people know that you liked it as well. So thanks uh, for doing that. Also, if you want to reach out to us on social media, we do a lot of things on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can check my uh, page out. I'm at Tim Bartz on either one of those channels. Uh, if you want to check out our uh, Law MacArthur uh, Twitter uh, channel, it is at Law MacArthur. And our Facebook is at, at Law MacArthur Lincoln. We also do have a Ford one. It's at Law MacArthur there as well. So check that out on our Facebook or Twitter. You can see all the things that we're doing here at the dealership. Any good specials going on as well will be tweeted out as well as on our Facebook page. So definitely uh, check those out. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. We'll see you later.